A guy named Yassine lives in Morocco, but is about to leave for France to go to university and become an architect. The whole family has been raising money for him. The mother gave him her pendant to give to his bride in the future. Soon Yassine boarded a plane and arrived in Paris, where everything was unfamiliar to him. Yassine anticipates a bright future and studies diligently, making progress. The semester has flown by. Yassine is very nervous about tomorrow's exam, just like his fellow student Claire. Yassine shared that it is important for his family that he passes this exam because they sacrificed everything for his education. When Yassine complimented Claire, she got embarrassed, as she had always been self-conscious about her weight. The young people were about to kiss, but Claire broke her chair and fell. However, this didn't stop them from starting to date. One day Yassine told his beloved about the mother's pendant, which he would give to his future bride. Perhaps that could be Claire. When Yassine's fellow student Stan suggested going to a bar, he considered it a bad idea since the exam was the next day. However, convincing Yassine didn't take long. The guys attended a noisy party with lots of drinking. The next morning, Yassine was awakened by a cleaner. Looking at the clock, he was horrified because he overslept the exam. Yassine tried to rectify the situation, but he was denied an extension of his student visa. Now he has to leave the country. Claire, who was waiting for Yassine at a themed party, couldn't reach him at all. The fellow students mocked her for weight and ridiculous costume. Yassine chickened out and simply disappeared from her life. Two years passed. Yassine works on a construction site, staying illegally in France. He got new neighbors, a guy named Fred and his girlfriend Lisa. Yassine and Fred became friends right away. When Yassine was doing renovations at a nice elderly lady's house, she suggested him finding a wife to extend his visa. Yassine had already made attempts, but all the women demanded huge sums of money for a fake marriage. Then Jacqueline offered him her candidacy, hinting unequivocally at what she really wanted. However, Yassine was not ready to fulfill his conjugal duty. Upon hearing this amusing story, Fred laughed for a long time. The guys began spending a lot of time together. Occasionally, Yassine calls his family by video link. They believe he's a successful architect with promising projects. Yassine got nervous when his mother said she wants to buy tickets and visit him. Fred, who still hasn't found a job, believes Yassine should tell his family the truth. But Yassine can't do it. Besides, he feels guilty about leaving Claire. Fred had a great idea. If Yassine did something heroic, he can obtain French citizenship without any formalities. They acted out the play right in the middle of the city. Fred jumped into the water and pretended to be exhausted. Yassine followed him to supposedly save, but something went wrong. Now it was Fred who had to save Yassine. Clearly, their brilliant plan didn't work out. Yassine doesn't know how to deal with all the problems that have piled up on him. He owes money to Daoud, a local bully, but he has nothing to pay back. Lisa got tired of her boyfriend not working and having no goals in life, and she told him so directly. Nevertheless, Yassine mustered up the courage and attended the alumni meeting, hoping to talk to Claire. He feels ashamed and considers himself a failure. Stan, the one who caused Yassine to oversleep the exam, offered him a job at his firm. Of course Yassine agreed without revealing that he's in the country illegally. Seeing Claire, who has now become a slim beauty, Yassine was shocked and apologized to her. But Claire doesn't hold a grudge against him since that incident motivated her to lose weight and pursue her career. Soon Fred came to pick up Yassine and noticed that he was upset. Yassine said he got a prestigious job, but he has no documents because he is an illegal immigrant. When two former fellow students passed by, who married each other, an idea struck Yassine. He asked Fred to marry him to sort out the documents and get citizenship. Fred agreed. He is willing to do anything to postpone his wedding with Lisa. The next day, Yassine went for the interview. Stan talked about their new project, which requires complete dedication. To Yassine's surprise, he found out that Claire works at the same company. Claire herself wasn't thrilled about it. Lisa is an elementary school teacher. Fred went to her workplace with a bouquet of flowers and a nervous look. Lisa was delighted, thinking her boyfriend was ready for marriage. He indeed agreed to get married, but not to her. Upon learning the truth, Lisa was furious and told Fred he would have to choose between her and his friend. Soon Yassine and Fred got married. Lisa was also present but barely contained her anger. Suddenly Fred took out a piece of paper and delivered a touching speech to Yassine. It was necessary to make everything look as genuine as possible. Now Yassine has the right to work officially. When Lisa hugged him to supposedly congratulate, she made it clear that he would regret everything. Fred and Yassine celebrated the event. But the celebration was marred by Daoud, who reminded of the debt. Yassine immediately got to work. Now Claire is his boss. The relationship between them is quite tense. Soon Yassine and Fred went to the immigration service, where marriages between citizens and foreigners are checked for authenticity. They both claimed their marriage was for love. Inspector Dussart, a stern man, 
made it clear that he was not to be trifled with and that they would see each other again soon. The next meeting didn't take long to happen. One day there was a knock on the door. Inspector Dussart stood at the threshold. He wanted to make sure the newlyweds had nothing to hide. Fred and Yasin behaved as if they were a happy couple. After inspecting the house, Dussart asked the guys some questions about their future plans together. Fred said they wanted to start a big family. The inspector left, but he didn't believe them and called his colleague in the Moroccan Immigration Service to check if Yasin had a wife back in his home country. The colleague said he would check the database. In reality he just opened the window and asked a woman on the street about it. Now the gossip about Yasin getting married in France will spread throughout the city. Fearing that Dussart might come for an inspection at night, Yasin decided that he and his spouse should be in the same room at night. Of course Lisa was outraged. The next day, the guys went for a stroll around the city. They wanted their legend to appear as believable as possible, so they changed their image. Despite the situation, they had a lot of fun. Yasin was puzzled when Stan started showing interest in him. But unexpectedly, Stan invited Claire to spend the weekend together. She promised to think about it, sparking jealousy in Yasin. Yasin never expected to see the inspector here. Their conversation was interrupted by Stan, who openly flirted with Dussart. The inspector hurried to leave. In the evening, Yasin and Fred visited a club for people with unconventional orientation. They suspected that Dussart was spying on them, and it turned out to be true. However, the guys didn't expect Dussart to follow them right into the club. They had to improvise and act as if they were a married couple. The host announced a contest for the best couple of the year. Yasin and Fred volunteered to participate so that Dussart would have no doubts about the legality of their marriage. The next morning, there was a knock on the door. Yasin got scared, thinking it was Dussart again, but it turned out to be much worse, his mother stood at the threshold. Ima was outraged that her son got married and didn't say anything to the family. Yasin pretended that Lisa was his wife. The girl had no choice but to play along. Yasin's mother was happy and announced that the wedding in Morocco will take place soon. For the sake of such an event, the relatives pooled all their savings. Of course Yasin wasn't thrilled about it. Later, Yasin, Fred and Lisa contemplated their next steps. They would have to pretend that Fred is a mutual acquaintance and continue this charade until the end, as they had no other choice. Ima visited Lisa at work, thinking the girl is her daughter-in-law. Ima was full of enthusiasm and made grand plans for the wedding. Lisa had no idea how to behave. One day Claire noticed that Yasin was still wearing the pendant. It meant he hadn't married yet. Yasin dreams of being with Claire, but she doesn't intend to give him a chance. Fred and Yasin are preparing for the contest that will take place in two weeks, but they were interrupted by Daoud. The guy had long suspected something was amiss and revealed that he also has unconventional orientation. Daoud felt relieved to admit it. Nevertheless, he was not going to forgive Yasin's debt. In the evening, the guys and Lisa repeated their legend out loud one more time so Ima wouldn't suspect anything. When Yasin learned that his mother had bought pearls for the wedding dress, he was about to confess the truth but changed his mind. Yasin had never seen his parents so happy, and he didn't want to disappoint them. The next day, Yasin and Claire presented their project to Arab partners, but they deemed it not ambitious enough. Stan got nervous, and Yasin realized it was his chance to prove himself. He presented his own project to the investors, which he had been developing since his student days. The meeting was successful, and Stan said the investors were thrilled. Claire agreed to go to Yasin's house to discuss the project. Fred received a message from him, asking to delay his mother. Obviously, it would be a challenging task. Meanwhile, the inspector was watching Yasin's apartment from the house opposite, intending to uncover his lie. Soon Yasin brought Claire to his apartment, unaware that he almost gave himself away. Suddenly Claire asked Yasin why he left her two years ago. She believed it was because of her weight, but Yasin assured her it wasn't true. According to Yasin, he was ashamed that he failed the exam and couldn't extend his visa. When Claire was leaving in an upset state, the inspector was watching her with binoculars. Dussart doesn't have concrete evidence of Yasin's lie, but he is not ready to give up. Ima, Fred and Lisa returned with their shopping. Yasin realized that the wedding preparations were getting out of hand. He said he didn't want this, but the mother had already sent invitations to all his relatives and colleagues. The next day, Yasin sneaked into the office to steal the invitations, but at that moment Stan returned. Yasin managed to discreetly take the invitation from both Stan and Claire. Claire decided to have a frank conversation with Yasin and told him they are just colleagues. There can be nothing more between them because Claire is not ready to forgive Yasin for what he did two years ago. Of course Yasin was upset. Meanwhile, the inspector called Fred and told him that Yasin is deceiving him for the sake of the visa. Dussart is convinced that Fred is not pretending, unlike Yasin. Later, Fred told Yasin about everything. According to Fred, they should pretend more convincingly to divert suspicion. 
Ima made a dress for Lisa herself and asked her to try it on. Meanwhile, Dussart disguised as a woman, sat at Yasin's table and started flirting with him. But Yasin immediately recognized the inspector's deception and walked away. As Ima had asked, Lisa tried on the wedding dress, which made her cry. Ima thought they were tears of happiness, but in reality Lisa was just embarrassed by their deception. The guys continue to prepare for the competition. Fred is full of enthusiasm, unlike Yasin, who is going to a party at Claire's. Fred didn't want to let him go, but Yasin did it his way anyway. Daoud walked in, immediately noticing that Fred was upset. Daoud told Fred that Yasin is not worthy of him. Yasin has become paranoid. He feels like Dussart is following him everywhere. Despite his concerns, Yasin still went to Claire's party. He really didn't like the fact that Claire was so close to Stan. She preferred his company because he's a kind guy that everyone likes. Seeing a woman, Stan thought it was Dussart spying on him again, so he attacked first. But it turned out to be Claire's mother. This angered all the guests. After receiving a call from his mother and learning that the inspector was at their house, Yasin rushed there immediately. Meanwhile, Dussart was questioning the woman about her son's marriage. Ima assumed they were talking about Lisa and said she was happy for her son. Of course Dussart was puzzled since it's prohibited by Moroccan traditions. When Yasin arrived home, the inspector was already gone. The mother looking happy, said that Dussart asked a million questions. Fred was outraged that Yasin was missing somewhere. This contest is very important to Fred. Yasin said it doesn't matter anymore because Dussart already figured out their lie. The Arab partner signed the contract. It was a resounding success for Stan's company. While with Lisa, Fred is constantly worried that Dussart will notice him. Lisa realizes that her boyfriend is hiding something from her. After signing the contract, Yasin tried to explain himself to Claire, but she didn't want to listen. However, after Yasin kissed her, she softened. Lisa and Fred went to the movies to distract themselves. Lisa realizes that they are no longer a couple and decides to break up with Fred. Yasin spent the whole day with Claire, feeling incredibly happy for the first time. He wants to get back together with her. She doesn't mind dating Yasin again. Meanwhile, Fred left a voicemail on Yasin's work phone, arranging a meeting at that club. Stan, who accidentally overheard the message, realized they are married. Fred is waiting for Yasin at the club, but he hasn't shown up yet. Daoud came to support him. Dussart is also here. Yasin finally arrived. His documents are ready, but he is here not for himself but for his friend who wants to win the competition. However, the guys had no idea that Stan brought Claire here, who doesn't understand what's going on. I'm as here too. The guys went on stage and started their performance. Claire was so shocked that she didn't know how to react. The audience erupted into enthusiastic applause. Yasin noticed Claire and the others too late. He wanted to make things right and took the microphone, telling the whole truth about himself. Dussart called the police to arrest the illegal migrant. Claire left with Stan, but Yasin caught up with them. At that moment, he got arrested. The guy thought he had lost Claire forever. In Claire's hand remained Yasin's pendant. Meanwhile, he was taken to jail, and then to Morocco. From the articles on the internet, Yasin learned that Stan and Claire's business is thriving. The mother tries to cheer him up. She loves him and will always be proud of him. Yasin didn't expect Fred to visit him. But he was even more surprised when Claire came out of the car too. She decided to forgive her beloved, understanding that he did it all for her. Soon Claire and Yasin had their wedding. By the way, Fred and Daoud are also happy together. Lisa found her calling and became a wedding planner. Now, Claire is a migrant in Morocco, so she and Yasin have to prove to the local inspector that their marriage is not fake. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss more exciting new products. Also the authors will be pleased if you leave your opinion in the comments.